Nursery sustainability can be enhanced by improving productivity and efficiency through proper nursery design and maximizing uniformity in production. A strategy common in many successful nurseries is to increase production efficiency by specializing in a crop type. Most plants within a crop type have similar fertilizer, water, pesticide, and substrate needs. Another strategy for increasing production efficiency is to grow plants in a limited number of container sizes and use only one substrate. By focusing on two to four container sizes and a single substrate, growers can adjust production and management to optimize plant growth. Many different aspects of production can be standardized, including production bench size, irrigation schedules, potting machines, pruning mechanization, shipping rack systems, and other handling options. Finally, nurseries might grow only pest-tolerant or pest-resistant crops, reducing pest management costs. Research and breeding efforts have identified many species and cultivars that are less prone to pests than commonly grown standard varieties or species. Examples are shrub roses, resistant to black spot and powdery mildew, crepe myrtles, resistant to powdery mildew and circospora leaf spot, and Indian hawthorn, resistant to entomosporium leaf spot. On a larger scale, when designing a nursery, growers can implement several techniques to increase efficiency or utilize topography to reduce environmental impacts or influence production. For example, at Athens Wholesale Nursery, cold frames were designed to include an aisle down the center of each house wide enough for a small tractor. Although reducing production area, this layout significantly reduces the distance plants have to be carried when pulling orders to be put on a trailer. And ultimately, this reduces labor costs. Also, production beds at Athens Wholesale Nursery are located on a slope and the grower uses microclimates up and down the slope to affect finishing time by placing plants that will be sold later at the bottom of the slope where cool air pools. This also allows the nursery to grow specific types of plant material by placing tender plants at the top of the slope where cool air drains away and placing plants requiring extended cold at the bottom of the slope. Sometimes the use of low cost equipment such as this fertilizer applicator employed by Athens Wholesale Nursery can save fertilizer, time, labor costs, and reduce worker strain. Even during shipping, practices can be implemented to improve efficiency. In the case of classic ground covers, workers pack shipments in the field to ensure uniformity of plant material, reduce pull time for orders, and therefore reduce labor involved in pulling and packing. Classic Ground Covers also utilizes standardized shipping boxes adapted from the poultry industry. Use of a mass-produced and standardized size box reduces per unit cost of boxes by more than 50%, as well as streamlines the shipping process. In spite of an often high initial cost, Technology offers many options to improve production efficiency. The goal of many new technologies is to reduce labor cost, and adoption of these technologies continues to increase as labor costs increase. From the beginning of the production cycle, technology in the form of potting machines has been developed to reduce labor, speed up the potting process, and increase uniformity of containers. A different variation of this is the Ellie Pot system that utilizes wool fiber to encapsulate peat in a propagation tray cell. This allows for mechanized filling of trays and later in the production cycle, rapid sorting of liners prior to shipping. A promising new irrigation technology is wireless real-time soil moisture sensors. This technology can be used to detect crop soil moisture levels and fully automate irrigation control, resulting in lower labor costs while reducing irrigation volume as much as 80%. Another irrigation system designed to increase irrigation efficiency and uniformity 
while reducing labor costs in propagation environments are boom misting systems, as seen here at James Greenhouse in Colbert, Georgia. This technology utilizes a leaf wetness sensor to determine when plants need to be irrigated and is fully automated. Cart and conveyor systems, as seen here at Riverview Flower Farms, can be used in the process of pulling orders and assembling shipments to speed up the order assembly while reducing worker fatigue. Robots offer another promising technology that has the ability to reduce labor costs and worker fatigue while increasing speed. In this case, a robot that moves and spaces containers on a growing pad is being tested at Hackney Nursery in Greensboro, Florida. Technology is not limited to container producers. Southeastern Growers Incorporated in Watkinsville, Georgia utilizes a Pasaglia tree spade in their harvesting process. This tree spade, while more expensive than traditional tree spades, allows growers to plant trees on narrower row widths, resulting in more trees grown per acre. Use of this machine results in a smaller size and weight of the ball and thus reduces fuel and other shipping costs. It also reduces labor cost because this tree spade digs trees nearly twice the speed as a typical spade. With choices ranging from potting machines to pot moving robots, as the cost of labor increases and the availability of labor decreases, the incentive for nursery producers to adopt methods and technology that improve production efficiency and sustainability will only grow. To find additional information, please refer to this document and others which are available on the project website.